Back now to that shakeup in Fort Oglethorpe where two city leaders were fired last week and another resigned. News Channel Line's Jerry Askin was at a meeting today as the mayor addressed residents. Jerry? Yeah, Calvin, today's meeting for many brought clarity as to why things happened last Friday, while many others say it's time for a brand new city staff. He gives no answers as usual. It's just like a dog and pony show. And today, answers were all people wanted. At least 30 concerned citizens came out to City Hall, many holding signs for recall. I see that these men are going to be removed from their positions, and we're going to get some qualified people in here to run this city for the people. This comes after former city manager Ron Goulart resigned last Friday. Nearly a week later, the mayor wouldn't give a reason why he resigned, but admits Goulart was under a lot of pressure. The final decision was Mr. Goulart's decision to resign. I'm not saying that there wasn't some heat put on him. An angry resident, however, disagreed, saying he had no choice but to leave. Ron Goulard was asked to resign and told that if he didn't resign, he would be fired. Held Seelcox took over as interim city manager Friday and within minutes fired the city's police chief and public works director. Seelcox wouldn't answer any questions at today's news conference and the mayor would not comment on the police chief's firing, blaming legal reasons. As for the former public works director, Director Jeff Long, the mayor says he was fired because he's also a county commissioner and supported the de-annexation of city property. Mayor Long says not only is that a conflict of interest, he thinks the move cost taxpayers $11,000 a year. If we keep losing, and that's the scary thing about not having Sunday on-site consumption sales in this city, we're on an unlevel playing field. And no word now on who will take over as police chief or public works director. We'll let you all know once we find out. Latricia. All right, Jerry, thank you.